Happy Homebrew Wednesday, folks. Ryan here. Enjoying a little Cooper's Mexican Cerveza. Yeah, I got a little lime in there. Nice and clear. Well, it's clearish. Yeah, a little hazy. Probably a little chill haze. But for the most part, it's good look. It's a good looking beverage. Am I right? <sighs> Definitely refreshing. Especially with a little lime in there. Gotta have a lime in a cerveza. It's the law. Especially if you're drinking Corona. No lime, just dump it down the drain. It's worthless. Then. But, um, so some exciting news. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's exciting for me. Got into kegging last week. I, I would have poured the brew that I have in the keg, but I actually did. I've already done a take of this earlier, and I didn't really have anything to talk about. But so I decided to do it over again when I felt like I had something to talk about. So I got into kegging. Um, kegged my White House Honey Ale, uh, a Northern Brewer extract recipe. So I, you know, there's a lot of places that sell a recipe, their version of it. You know, they're they're all practically the same because it's based on an actual recipe from the White House. Whoa. I do apologize for the bright lights. Uh, wind keeps blowing open the blinds, and it's a little warm in here. So you get that bright sunlight in here. I do apologize. So caking was interesting. I'm not sure if it saved me too much time, but it did save me from the annoyance of trying to fill bottles and having to clean all the bottles. Um, I, uh, you know, have a little CO2 anxiety now instead of, since I only have a five pound tank, you know, getting worried of, oh, what if I use too much of this? And what if it runs out? Uh, uh, uh. I think probably in the future I will be buying another five pound tank. That way I can keep one on hand in case the other one empties out. And I think that's probably a good idea for anyone who has a five pound tank to keep a second one handy. Especially in my area where the place to get refilled is only open Monday through Friday 8 to 4.30 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Well my work hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. so Having a rush um, makes it a little bit inconvenient, but I mean, way nice people there, so they t they take care of you when they can. You know, it's a good business, but it does kind of suck if you have to wait three days to get refilled. You know, and I know, and I've I've been told that doesn't happen a whole lot. But it can happen. So probably getting a second tank. <sighs> also learned that aluminum tanks have to be hydro tested or certified or something. Not looking forward to dealing with that. My tank was is about a year old when I got it. You know it's a brand it's a new tank. So I got four years and I gotta deal with that. Hopefully the place that fills it can do that testing, I'm not sure. I don't know what that involves, if it's just putting it under water and filling the air and see if it holds. I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, the Power Hour Brew Crew. Um, I changed, if any of you actually use the BrewTuber feed, which I hope you do, and I, I'm probably going to, I'll create an RSS feed of that. I need to do that. I don't think I've done it yet. So if you, ha if you do use RSS... You could actually subscribe to my feed, which is a is an aggregate of RSS feeds from YouTube. Um, I've changed this from the main feed so that it only shows you things from the last six days. Now, it is a little granular. I'm going to probably try to fix that. It will go as cl down to the hour, or a minute probably right now. So if it's 11 o'clock on a Thursday night, you're only going to get things... All the way up to 11, back to 11 o'clock the previous Friday. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does, because no one's here to tell me that it made sense or not. <laughs> um, before I just kind of had everything show up, which got really annoying because it was really hard to tell. Okay, what are the what's the new stuff? 
obviously you come in on Tuesday you, you get out if you look at it you'll you'll see oh well I can see everything from last Wednesday still well that's to be expected but when you get to Wednesday you're only seeing the last Thursday which yeah that's still last week um, but you know I guess it depends on when you're actually reading this stuff uh, probably the best time to read Saturdays or Fridays but I, I I like to watch mine on Wednesdays and just being able to make that list smaller and usually I can kind of tell oh I've already watched that one when you have a big list it's hard to remember okay have I seen all these Do, did I miss one of these in here well alright watch same time every week I know I can probably hit all of them um, well here let me, I can just pull this let's see if I can get this pulled up here Oh, that is not a good... Oops, I cut myself out. Oops, I, I'm still here, folks. Don't run away yet. Let's get this pulled up. Let's see if I can make this look good. All right, there we are. I'm back. Hi. Um, see, there goes that shiny light in your face. Ah, no, I can't see. Okay, so right now, it is Tuesday right now when I'm recording this. So this was released today. Apparently pretty chop and brew, which is not really Homebrew Wednesday, but he does a lot of decent videos. That was released this morning about 6. But, okay, let's take a look at the last six days here. So... Now remember, this feed only updates every hour. That's the minimum I could do. So if you've released something in the last hour, I probably haven't seen it yet. But it will be on here. Anyway, with what time it is, my video is actually the oldest video I could watch right now. Because it was six days ago. And it was after 7.39 p.m. six days ago. I'm not sure if this will be based on your time or not. Maybe on the, the server time. Um, well, it's anonymous, so if you're not logged in, it will definitely be based on the server time. And then, but if you want to go back and see the other videos, I don't. It doesn't pull in every video that anyone's ever made, and that'd be a lot to pull in. But it just doesn't. I don't know, and that's actually on YouTube side, and I don't know how they decide what gets put in the feed. But you can you can check them all out, whatever I was able to pull it. So, I mean, it goes back to February 4th. Good old Iowa Carver there. Another fellow Iowan. I mean, there's probably stuff in here that I, that I haven't actually even looked at yet because I've didn't have it in the feed yet but so that's that you can go here and check out all the videos I've just tried to make this part easier and I don't know if any of you ever realized what this was over here homebrew finds so homebrew finds it's actually a YouTube account who they have like a, a blog on some service um, I pull in their feed see all the good deals so this is purely this is not like an ad supported site or anything and I don't get money for this this is purely to help you it helps me I can see you know the good deals that are showing up so look a free Kindle book that'd be kind of nice uh, get a White House for Menor for buying it so free for Menor that, that's a pretty good deal I think but yeah, so that's all that is. And you all know about the rest of the site and the recipes that I have on there. And my page really doesn't tell much except, you know. I've, I've told you about the site before. It's a, I really like the I do use it. I actually do. So no one else, if no one else uses it, at least I'm using it. So it was a total waste of time for me to put together because... I find it way easy when I come in on Wednesday or even Thursday if I forget to watch a Wednesday. I still have, I know who all the new ones are. Um, if you find that somebody should be on that list that's not there, I haven't put a form on the site yet and I probably will at some point. 
uh, just send me a YouTube message say hey you should really watch this guy and I just need their channel name and if I can find them I can add them Oh, there was one thing too. The beer I kegged, I said it was a, the uh, White House Honey Ale. Um, I'm not quite sure if I have it carbonated enough or not, and I don't really know how to tell by you know except by taste. I pressurized it at 15 psi, and my keys are about 40 to 45 degrees. Uh, the upper is 45 because that's what I have the keys are set to turn on at if it goes above. But I think it usually takes down to around 40. Uh, I used a chart that came with it. I got my whole kit except for the tank from Midwest Supplies. And they have a chart on their site. Let's see if I can get that up here. Um, this will be difficult. Okay, let's. So there's a. There's a chart. Oops. See, I didn't mean to remove myself here. Do a lot of things on the fly here. That's all right. That's how we roll. Um, this chart came in there here, and I would kind of based on this is an American ale. You know, it's it's the White House honey ale. I better be an American ale, right? And so I went based on what this said the volume CO2 should be. Although the British Ale range is probably be okay for it too. It's mostly British hops, ironically. But I don't know why they they didn't put in American hops. Or I don't even know really. Oh, I guess I don't even really know if there are American strains. I, I'm sure there are. Uh, so 2.2 to 2.7. I kind of went to the chart. I knew I'd have my temperature at around 45, 44. And, but I, I set the temperature control to 45, so I knew that's what it'd be at, and decided to go with okay, well 2.51. That's right in the range of 2.2 to 2.7, so I set it to 15 psi. Took a little sample Sunday morning. After I'd been sitting at 15 psi, and that night I pulled the tank, or no, the next day I pulled the tank out. I didn't think it was ready Sunday morning all the way. Still good. I didn't think it was quite ready though. Uh, check the tank out and the regulator showing that's been pressurized at 12 so I don't I can't believe that, that little sample dropped the pressure that much but maybe it did but it, it seems about all right now I mean it's not flat but I think you could use a little more carbonation it does get a decent head on it it's not it's nothing too crazy I suppose you just compare it to what I'm drinking right now can't know what the little carbonation feel I get the other one. You know what? It is probably about the same. I I'm just crazy, I guess. I don't know what I was expecting, but the White House honey ale is really good. And it's one of those that I only try to do about once a year. It's a little uh, a little pricier kit, a little higher in alcohol. I can't remember what my final gravity was. If I even took a final gravity, I probably forgot. But if it was in the 1010 to 1012 range, that beer is probably about 6.83%. Um, yeah, I already had the calculator, so I, didn't, I just had to memorize. I didn't actually calculate that in my head. Unless you want to believe I did, which you shouldn't, because I couldn't, and I didn't. Seriously. Um, anyway, I think that's all I've got for you this week, folks. Have a happy Homebrew Wednesday. Check out some more Homebrew videos. Just head on over to Power Brew Crew. If you don't know who to watch, if, may, if this is the first Homebrew Wednesday you've ever watched, which I'd be amazed if it was, because that means a miracle has happened. That's all right. Go over to PowerHourBrewCrew.com. Yes, Power Hour, because of her. She sings a Power Hour album. But anyway, not important. PowerBrewCrew.com. Head on over there. Click the BrewTubers link. And just start watching videos.
new to home brewing, been doing it a while, I tell you what, you'll be addicted to these videos. Right before I started, when I was waiting for, when I was waiting for the first day that I'd be brewing, I started watching videos. And a man with a channel called Craig Tube, Mr. Craig Faraway, started watching that guy. And I mean, I was, I just couldn't stop watching. Just kept watching, kept watching, kept finding more videos. Then Craig got me watching other people. He told me, oh, I'm not the first one to come up with Homebrew Wednesdays. That's Jay Poor Guy. So I started watching him. Now, all these people are doing it, and it's awesome. It is the coolest thing ever to have this community of people who just, everyone's talk. Just talk about brewing. You know what? People will watch it. I'll watch it. I'll, if somebody tells me to go watch someone, I'll go watch them. If I don't like them, I don't have to keep watching them. But I don't think I've really seen anyone where I'm just like, Oh, this guy <sighs> hasn't happened yet. Everyone has their own thoughts on it, and there's a lot of insight from you can get from people. Um, you know, some things they'll make you think and may, about maybe how you're doing it, and maybe ways to improve it, or it'll get you thinking. Hey, are they doing this right? Maybe I should comment, say something. See, maybe I don't understand what they're going for here. But you know, there's so many people in this community now it's a great community to be in beer brings people together it really does especially home brewing i mean i could not believe the size of this community i just thought it was some fun things that people just did at home and were cheap and wanted to make their own beer but i tell you what it's a great community to be in so brew some really good beer and as, as Mr. S.J. Poor would say, and enjoy, enjoy the fruits of your labor. <sighs> this is Ryan Patrick Murphy. I'll catch you next week when we have another Homebrew Wednesday. See you later, folks.